Dimitrios Triantapilou is an associate professor of international relations at the Kadirhas University and joins me now from Istanbul. Thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. So why have Greeks voted for change from left to centre right? Well, uh, obviously because of disenchantment with uh, the, the leftist government that uh, has been in power for the last four and a half years, uh, has tried to deliver on promises which has not, it has not necessarily it has failed to deliver on promises it had made, um, and then the Greeks felt that this ex experiment of a set of a radical left government, together with uh, a far left smaller party, uh, was just a bit uh, too ambiguous and uh, did not really deliver. To, did not manage to get Greece out of the crisis as promised. And I think, um, you know, you just played what uh, Kyriakos Mitsotakis announced today after being sworn in, and he's actually trying to, the focus would be on, on, on the economy, uh, on investments, and on trying to get Greece finally out of the economic crisis, into which it's been in for about 10 years now. And, so, and as, as you said, Dimitrios, um, he has made a promise to end a decade of economic crisis. What kind of changes are you expecting there, though? Does it seem promising? It does seem promising. It does seem promising. I mean, you know, we are right now waiting within the hour or so we'll get the new government, the new cabinet announced. But from the names that are being, you know, uh, banded about, it does look that uh, the focus is on the economy and it's a number of technocrats that he's going to bring in uh, and, 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 event, and uh, a number of uh, members of parliament, newly elected members of parliament that will become ministers that are very centrist in their approach and in favor of economic change. So in that sense, it's promising, plus the fact also that uh, it looks that uh, Mitsotakis will have a government which is pretty centrist, reaching out to also to the center left with uh, figures from, that have made the reputation in the center left. So I think he's trying to send a message not only of a focus on the economy, but uh, of a government that is a government for all Greeks. So in that sense, uh, he's starting off well. Uh, and I already, you've already seen the effects of this. I mean, even a month ago, when uh, over a month ago, when uh, his party won the European parliamentary election in Greece, already there was positively reflected in the markets. And one can see, even, even from, since last night, um, the rates, the interest rates on Greece's 10-year bonds uh, have fallen to new lows, uh, which is good for uh, Greece repaying its debt. The same thing has happened with five-year bonds. So already there has been favorable response to, to Mr. Tax's victory. And, and what about Turkey-Greek relations? I mean, Turkey's President Erdogan said he is vicious to run a peace and solidarity-based relationship, and he congratulated the new prime minister. Do you expect a change? We shall see. I mean, you know, the, the person that seems to, that will be nominated for foreign minister, Nikos Endias, uh, uh, is a centrist, is a very much middle of the road, is not someone to, um, that would want to, to raise uh, provocations with Turkey. And likewise, I think the people that would be nominated for the defense ministry are also, uh, know their issues well in the middle of the road. Uh, I think it's a priority. I mean, together with the economy, Turkish Greek relations in this transactional world have become a priority for Greece, given tensions in the Eastern Med and the Aegean. And I think this government will reach out uh, again to Turkey, just like I think Turkey is reaching out to Greece to try to make sure that uh, tensions are reduced and lessened. So, uh, yes. Um, you know, one cannot say that Tsipras and his government did not try to work on relations. Um, I just think that, you know, the world is changing so fast and so rapidly where um, the givens of, you know, alliances are being tested, uh, whether one belongs to NATO, the West, and so on. And I think all of this has had an impact, a negative impact on, on Greek-Turkish relations. And I think uh, Athens, just like Ankara, uh, will keep on, you know, making sure that, um, that they can work together. Uh, so, so in that sense, I have no doubt that this Mitsotakis government will, will try to continue on, uh, on working together with Turkey uh, on that issue. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for that insight, Dimitrios Triantafilou.